Yo, what's going on, fellow gamers? It's your boy Physics bringing you guys yet another video here today, playing some Black Ops 2 in the background. But let's talk about Black Ops 3. And today they revealed the esports agenda, I guess you can call it. And it was pretty dope, man. I liked what I saw. Uh, the MLG guys were playing pretty freaking beastly. And let's just get down to it. But first of all, before all the gameplay happened, David Von Der Haar, you know, and Von We Trust, uh, he touched on something really good right here. So. He was talking about how the public community, the casual gamers, are very disconnected from the professional gamers because uh, the two communities play pretty much separate games. Like the MLG rule set is just so much different from the com uh, the casual community because they pretty much ban everything, you know, the C4s and it, all kinds of equipment and some perks. So it's like a whole different game out of the box, right? Um, unlike Counter Strike, where they play exactly with those guns and everything, right? So. But that is like a strictly competitive game, Counter Strike. So Von was, you know, touched on that a little bit, and he's gonna try to bridge that gap right there, so they're not too disconnected. And they're doing that by having everything available to the MLG guys. But there is a certain little thing there where you can ban and protect things. So if you do want to ban something and you're playing one of these MLG games, you can. But it's not like everything, right? And all the time, it's like these are. Uh, previous Call of Duty's where stuff is just banned automatically like C4s for example on um, this game you don't have to ban C4 you can use C4s I'm pretty sure or you can use specialists you can use whatever kill streaks or score streaks whatever you want to call them they can definitely be used but you can ban them whether it's just an overpowered item or the other team's really good with a certain item or you can protect them you know vice versa stuff like that and that's a pretty cool thing right there because like I said that gap does need to be a uh, bridge because a lot of people don't like the professional side of things of Call of Duty because it's just so different, it's a different game. With this, hopefully it bridges it a little bit and that way there's some more love for the esports and stuff like that. And hopefully the, com uh, the casual community sticks around longer so then, you know, usually when the, the casual community sticks around, just the community in general just stays alive longer. The game's life cycle is, or lifespan is longer in general, in my opinion. Like Black Ops 2, everyone loved it, whether it was casual and the MLG guys. And it's, it's like I said in my other video, there's so many people playing this game still. Uh, League Play is returning as Arena. Pretty dope, man. I really enjoyed League Play in Black Ops 2. Uh, whether I was wrecking kids or if it was like a really freaking close match against other really good players. Those are always the best games because you're, you're just trying so hard and having a good freaking time and just... Your competitive side just comes out and you're just a freaking beast, right? I love it. And then back to the games really quick. Uh, the two MLG teams that were playing against each other. Uh, they were just pickup teams, but they were still professional gamers. And they played Uplink, which is awesome because I didn't think that would come back because Advanced Warfare kind of sucked, like I keep saying. And um, I hope this uh, Uplink is just better on Black Ops 3. Uh, they also played Hardpoint, so that's coming back, of course, because Treyarch introduced it anyways. And they played some s &D. And they played it in the uplink hardpoint SND kind of a uh, list right there. So I, I don't know if that's going to be the, the official MLG kind of rule set there, but that's what they played. And it, I don't know, all of them are looking pretty good. Uplink was looking not that bad. Uh, the specialists, some of them looked pretty overpowered, like the uh, the one shot pistol guy. One of the players was just going like on a four streak with it, and it's like, damn, dude, that guy can do work if you have a really good aim, like. It's insane, man. And then I want to touch on the Codcaster really quick. So if you guys can look on the screen right here, I have like this little the broadcaster mode for Black Ops 2 up here. You can see the two logos for the, the teams. The score is next to that, and then the time is in the middle. Well, in the Black Ops 3 one, you're gonna be able to change the colors for those teams. So let's say you have Optic, you're gonna have like a green and black logo right there, and then. Let's say the right one is Envy and you're going to have like a blue and white, I guess their their colors are, and stuff like that. So you can change those colors so it's easier for the audience and like casuals to understand what's going on. And also you can change the team names. So it's not going to be Team Sentinels or Team Black Ops. It's going to be Envy and Optic, stuff like that, right? Uh, but they're still not able to change the images. Like in Counter-Strike, if you guys have ever seen those professional uh, matches, uh, they're able to change the, the team logos up there. Like Navi or freaking uh, the other teams. I don't know. I just know Navi because they're pretty beast. There's Envious there too and stuff like that. But whatever. Uh, you could change the logos unlike in Call of Duty though. So 
Call of Duty still has a little bit of ways to go, but PC, it's I'm pretty sure it's just way easier to manipulate things, so that's that. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. Oh, and also, competitive is going to be on PS4. Luckily, I'm not a competitive player and stuff like that, so I'm I'm good with my Xbox One. It's a pretty good console, I'm, I guess. Uh, so I won't be getting a PS4. That's like a waste of $400, right? So, yeah, that was basically the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are fans of esports, give me a like. It's me, boy, Physics. I'm out. Peace.